Hello YouTube, it's me again. I'm at Heathrow again, but this time I'm not actually um, going anywhere unfortunately. Uh, um, I am collecting a friend, so I'm just waiting and all that jazz. Um, and yeah, should be quite fun, but hey ho. Oh, covering up that thing, right, so. not really much to say, I know I haven't been on very long. My teeth are getting worse, you know, it's crazy. Anyway, I will catch you again. Bye. Hello YouTube. I'm currently at Heathrow. And it dawned on me. <clears throat> I was watching all these different people. And you kind of forget sometimes that actually, you know, there are so many people around. And everyone has their own story, their own life, everything. And um, something I kind of just observed really while I'm here. The amount of people, we're all waiting to see people or, you know, whatever. And the amount of people, oh, there's something on my glasses. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, it's, do you know what, it's quite nice, human nature. Sometimes, without realising it, you um, have these situations where, it's like, I use the example here for Heathrow because this is why I'm doing the video. Um, you have all these different people and they have all their different stories and it, they all accumulate together here. It's a, it is a genuine hub for sort of, I don't know, I just, it's almost like you can feel it's a palpable sense of sort of excitement and hope and all those things that people are actually sort of coming together. And it's just kind of nice that human nature evolves in this way that we are, for all of our hate and for all of our ag aggression and all of our own opinions and you know which makes us individuals which is understandable and all our own views and things um there are certain points in our society that we come together for common ground without even realizing it and it is quite interesting to watch people people going about their business there's people collecting clearly businessmen or women and you see the old name and on like a card and you see chauffeurs waiting, expectant family members, and it's actually just quite nice to see that we are um, inherently nice people. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just rambling, there's no real point to this, but it is just, it's something that I observed, and I'm sure most people observe it, but it's amazing how we can lose track of things. We're so pressured with society about moral sort of materialistic not moral materialistic things we have standards to keep we've got things to do we're always in a rush and actually at this point when you're waiting for someone it all kind of just melts away and everyone that's waiting here for someone um they all have the same goal they just hope that that person or people are home they've come home they're safe and yeah it's it's an interesting thing it's it's you can feel it around the people whether they take note or not and it would be interesting to kind of make it a tangible thing, almost like a piece of artwork or something, how you would convey this. And, yeah, it's, it's just really kind of, it's really nice, actually, and um, quite exciting. But, yeah, I think it, that comes down to me being a people watcher. I love to watch and observe and just see how things are going. But, yeah, it's just really... It brings us back to our animal instincts almost, you know, it's like there's one person there, there and people, they look around and yeah, it's, they are those priceless moments and yeah, it is, um, it's quite lovely to see. This is about as soppy as I'm ever going to humanly ever get, so, you know, take note of this. But yeah, it's like all these people over here waiting at the arrivals desk. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's really nice. I mean, my head's in the way, but, yeah, and you're not really supposed to YouTube people if they don't want to be YouTubed and all that stuff. But, yeah, those moments that someone walked, it's, it, I can only akin it to sort of, you know, um, it's almost like winning the lottery or something to that nature. I've never won the lottery in that sense, so I couldn't tell you what exactly it feels like. But it's just those little moments where... You know everyone's got home safe and stuff of that nature. But anyway, again, I'm rambling for no apparent reason. And I'm sure none of this actually truly makes any sense. And I'm sure people will go, whatever. 
um, and being a bit of a tit. But, yeah, it would be interesting to see how you could make this a real tangible thing, see if you could convey this sort of anticipation, this excitement, this the, the, the general love that people have and things of that nature, um, their hopes and their fears, if you could turn it into something sort of solid, something that could be touched or looked at, I think it would be a logistical nightmare and I don't think it could ever be done or conveyed, but yeah, anyway, my ramblings are now over at five minutes, um, yeah, but the point of this maybe in some respects is as human beings we all have a common goal and we should look at the good and the hopefulness of things and actually strive forward and use that in more situations but I don't know but anyway random ramblings very much over bye